Volatility with Thomas Hayes. He's the chairman and managing member at Great Hill Capital. Reeling from the state, Thomas. <laughs> how much of this was Corona? How much of this was what we're seeing in the crude oil market? Or how much of this was just a very bad, potent combination of the two? Well, it was 86.12 percent of the OPEC meeting <laughs> falling apart for sure. Uh, but but in that ballpark, it was really about 80 percent. And if you think we took it bad, seven and a half percent down, we're down 19 percent from from our recent highs. Take a look at Russia. They were down 16 percent their equity markets today, 35 percent down from their recent highs. Saudi Arabia was down 17 percent today, 33 percent from their recent highs for their equity markets. So if their intent was to punish the shale producers, what they miscalculated was that we have a very dynamic consumer. 70 percent of our economy is consumer driven and on Russia's side uh, they are they're really focused on oil so the real risk and the knock-on effect of what happened by the OPEC plus meeting falling apart on Friday which did obviously surprise the markets and surprised a lot of people is that people are scared of credit markets freezing up okay so if you look at the high yield index in the United States it's heavily weighted to energy stocks and when when people now say you know, the cost of production is in the low 40s. When these companies start defaulting, people look at what banks have exposure. And actually, there were some good stats put out about which, right. you know, the kind of exposure they had. It's between 1% to 3% for the major banks, so it's not material. Uh, it's going to hurt them more than it's going to hurt us. So if this move, as you say, could land up backfiring on Russia, can they backpedal? Can they change this now? Or is Absolutely. it too far gone? You know, it, it's funny that you bring that up. I, I think basically, I don't know if it's another 5% when their equity markets are down 40% or if it's 15% and they got to go down uh, 15%. But I, I do believe Russia is going to cry uncle. And if not, I think you could see a situation in Saudi Arabia where you could potentially have a change of leadership if something doesn't change very quickly. When, when the pressure gets this acute, though, it's often the point in time. Today was real capitulation. I mean, mm -hmm. people were just deleveraging, getting out of stuff. Uh, that's when you usually see change. And, and whether that's going to be a change where OPEC comes back to the table or the Saudis say, hey, we'll, we'll bear more of the brunt, just come along for but, a bit. But given where we are with the coronavirus picture and the yeah. impact that that's having, having on the global economy, yeah. even if there is a reversal with the oil price, how much of an impact is that going to have? Yeah, well, I think, um, you know, we saw, if you look at the China model, so uh, as their new cases leveled off, if you look at the chart of the new cases, the moment their new cases leveled off in early February, you saw their equity market rally 23%, while our equity market was declining yeah. because we were just getting new cases. So, you know, today in New York, I'm coming down here, everyone's running, everyone's outside. Yeah, it, warm weather doesn't cure it, but it makes it a little bit more difficult to spread, uh, and that's going to be helpful. So there are a lot of positive things happening. You know, rates are low. And by the way, the Fed stepped in in the past week, which I've been kind of writing about in the last two months. They stopped providing liquidity and increasing their balance sheet from January through February, which I think exacerbated this fall. Right. They added $100 billion to the balance sheet in the last week or so. So they, they've stepped up to the plate, certainly in cuts, but the balance sheet is what you feel more quickly. Right. And the coronavirus, as we see these new cases peak country by country, we'll get through this. But the key now is credit markets with Russia. All right, Tom, thank yeah. you so much. Yeah. Thomas Hayes, Chairman and Managing Member at Great Hill Capital. Okay. All right, still ahead.